You know, you just can't do a cool slide in with the floor I have. Well, the time is now. You all asked for it, I'm delivering it. Today on the channel, we're gonna be going through some of the streams from this community and viewers, and I'm gonna be telling you guys where I feel you could be doing better. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Dan and our X2 Shoes. And today on the channel, we're gonna be reviewing your, yes, your streams. I have not cheated. I have not gone through any of the submissions so far and checked them out. This is all gonna be a live reaction. I love doing things like this. We often do them on stream sometimes. But it's a great way for you guys to get feedback. And even if it's not your stream being reviewed, maybe you'll see some things that I'll point out that you yourself do on your own stream. And maybe we'll be able to apply the feedback there as well. But before we get into this video, everybody, I want to tell you about the wonderful sponsors of today's show, Placeit.net. Placeit is such an amazing tool for up and coming streamers or seasoned streamers or just anyone looking for a bit of design or boost to their already existing projects. Placeit is a design focused platform in which you can go on and create breathtaking designs from scratch without having ever left the website. You can find things like animated Instagram stories, create logos from scratch, things like follower alerts, donation alerts, starting soon screens, webcam borders, anything you want. And the beauty is you never have to leave Placeit. Placeit is perfect as well for people like me who do not understand things like Photoshop or Illustrator or these really sometimes intense learning curve design platforms. You can literally do everything in their easy to use, easy to navigate website and just download it straight from there. I would really recommend Placeit as an affordable alternative to creating your own designs that actually look really, really, really good. Also, if you already have any existing assets like logos or whatever, you can upload them into the designs you create on Placeit and download them again. So for example, if you decide that you want a cool Twitter post to go out before you go live, you could find a template on Placeit, upload your branding into it, create it in five minutes and download it and post it immediately. Simple as that. If you want to check out Placeit for yourself and see how handy it is, definitely follow the link in the description. You can also use the code X2Shoes at checkout to save yourself a discount. Much love again to Placeit for sponsoring today's video. Thank you very much for helping me eat. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. So the other day on Twitter, I put out that I was looking for submissions for this video. Things like channel trailers, VODs, clips, whatever, you name it. And I would go through it and give you guys feedback. Now, there was way, way more of a response than I thought there would ever be. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get through everybody because then this video would be an hour long. But definitely make sure you're following me on Twitter because I'll tweet about it if I'm doing this type of thing again. Also, I hear you asking yourself, that's a cool hat, Dan. Where did you get it? It's my own hat. It's cringe merch from x2shoes.com forward slash merch. Check it out if you want one. All right, here is my tweet calling for you guys to put your clips in. And here is all the submissions we got. Oh my God, there's so many. Holy moly. Okay, I think the best thing to do is just whoever... Jesus, there's so many of these. Oh my God. Best thing to do is just start from the bottom. Let's check out Senoj32 or Senoj. I'm probably going to butcher half your names. I apologize. All right, first things first. First thing is absolutely first. No channel trailer. We talked about this in the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, please watch it. It's about channel trailers and why you should have one. Also, by the looks of this VOD, this is the first VOD that's playing here. Let's just click onto this VOD. So look, you're still getting set up for your stream while you're already live. You're on your phone. I think you're tweeting that you're live. Have a starting soon screen. Do all this while you're starting soon. Wow, you are close to your monitor. That's crazy. Do people play this way? Is this why I'm bad at Valorant? I can't listen to this because there's DMCA music, but I like your rounded cam border. I do something similar. It's always good. It looks nice. Don't play royalty free music. Have a channel trailer. Have a starting soon screen. A lot of people rag on the starting soon screen because, you know, they think that they take up time and somebody comes to a channel and they see that there's a starting soon screen, they'll just leave. But I would rather go to a channel and see that and see a nice animated kind of cool looking thing as opposed to somebody sitting on their phone, not interacting. Yeah, you need to flesh this out a bit. Senaj32 streams Counter-Strike Global Events of Valorant. Okay, cool. So do thousands of other people. Tell us a bit more about you. I've spent like a couple of minutes on your stream now and I know nothing about you. I'm sure if I watched your VOD, maybe I would, but you know, I would like to know a bit more about you. So maybe consider fleshing out your channel because this is a little bit bare and consider a channel trailer. But good job. Stream looks good quality. Can't fault that. Emery, Emmers plays. I am so bad at names. Emery's. Em, em, Emmer, em, Emmers. Okay, we're greeted with a cool banner. I like this. I would consider resizing this slightly. We're losing your Twitter. It's being cut off. And also your Twitch tag is here. If we're seeing this, we're already on your Twitch. So, you know, maybe put your YouTube here or your Instagram or TikTok or whatever else because there's serving no real purpose here. All right, let's just check out this, this goose, goose, duck stream. Please don't have royalty free music. Cool starting soon screen. I, I dig this. Cool, this looks good. I like your setting here. This is like a really nice setting. You've got your wow boxes, some sneak energy stuff, a big D20. That's, that's dope. This is a really nice, cozy stream corner. I would think what would go, ooh, that's a nice trend. 
That is a nice transition. I really like that. What I would say here is, though, what could look really good is you've got this whole blue theme going on, right, on your stream, which which looks really nice. You know, you've got these moving particles, this kind of turquoisey blue thing. You've got blue hair, there's blue stuff in the background. What could look really dope here is if you put some blue LED lights behind these boxes, similar to this red one over here behind my shoulder. They're like 15 bucks on Amazon. They're super cheap and they would just throw some light up on the wall. They help backlight you, separate you from the background and they look super nice. Definitely do that. Backlighting is so important. People sleep on backlighting. I love how you've also got your game here in the corner, just like, you know, you're loading and you're waiting for it. People can see that you're waiting for it. You're showing people that this is an intermission. It's not going to be a hugely long intermission that you are playing a game, which is nice. Consider just the layout of things. This little GoFundMe banner thing is uh, covering the the chat. Yeah, this is all quite clean. I see no problem with it. These follower things and sub things and bit stuff may be a little bit big in my opinion, but hey, they're not really intrusive. So I don't mind it. This is pretty good. It is made by Slushy Goose, who was well known for making the mods for Among Us. All right, okay, in terms of your mic quality, your mic quality sounds fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. I can't really tell what type of mic you're using, but it does sound like it's quite far away from you, depending on what type of mic it is. If it's a little bit closer, you know, my mic, th this mic is the mic I'm using right now, Shure SM7B. It's not meant to be as far away from me as it actually is right now. It's meant to be more kind of here. You can see here the difference already, but you're also getting a lot of reflection in your voice. Good. And the best thing, the proximity chat actually works. Um, we have so you could probably fix that with some acoustic panels like I have behind me. They're pretty cheap. You can pick them up, stick them around on front of you, above you, behind you, anywhere that your voice might bounce. Uh, this is not soundproofing. It's literally just to stop that kind of ringing you're hearing in your voice. But definitely consider some backlighting and maybe a little bit, a little, tiny bit more face lighting, I would think as well. Also, this Rick's logo is obviously too small and it's been blown up and it's pixelating a little bit. So maybe try to get a, 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 you could probably get a sharper one. Yeah, stream looks good. Quality looks good. I would definitely recommend some backlighting. Very good job. Uh, quick little look at your about section. Yeah, like this is good. It's filled out. It's fine about me section, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I like that. All right, Big Kurt. Have a channel trailer, please. Having a channel trailer would make this a lot easier. Although I like this. It's clean stream starting soon. Quite Valorant themed. All right, let's have a look at your about section first. Yes, bro. I'm from Liverpool, I'm 24, and I love salmon paste. I literally only play Call of Duty, sometimes other mad stuff, but mainly COD. Let me know if you want to play sometime, we can get it sorted. Drop a follow and subscribe to the YouTube and let me know what you think. All I know about you here, Kurt, is that you love Call of Duty. <laughs> you know, like, give me, yeah, I mean, like, that's cool. But is Call of Duty your only defining factor? You know, let, let us know some little bit more about you. Your specs, if you wanted to include them, could probably have their own section. Maybe consider putting this schedule thing below your Twitter button so that these top three things are completely in line with each other. I would consider fleshing it out a little bit more personal. Like your Instagram kind of like suspended down here. Like if I was you, I would have about me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and then have like the donate button and the peripherals, all this stuff down below. Because you want, those are the things people draw their attention to straight away. You don't really want to have that stuff kind of suspended in the middle of nowhere down here, you know? Waiting. Say something, Kurt. Just fill me in on what you're doing. DMCA music. Gotta mute the VOD. All right, Kurt. One big thing I can see here is that you are just not, in my opinion, engaging enough with the stream. And I've been on your stream for maybe a minute or two now and you haven't really said anything. Definitely try explain more, you know? Like, this is what I would do in this situation. Now, Kurt, I'm not going in, I'm not going in on you here, buddy. No Warzone's an intense game. There's thousands of other Warzone streamers out there, right? And, you know, you gotta separate yourself from them. Now, I know nothing about Warzone, but this is what I would do in this situation. Like the windows. Oh, he's definitely behind me. He's gonna come from the left. I know he's gonna come from the left any second. There he is. He's right there. I got it. Oh, that's my teammate. Oh, I thought that was the guy. He's on the stairs. All right, teammate downed him. Nice. I got the assist. Huge. His buddy's going to be over any second. I know it. Okay, maybe he has some stuff. Does he have armor or anything? Okay, he's got ammo, armor. I'll take that. Mark a gun for the teammate. All right, there's definitely someone else nearby. I don't know where the hell they are, though. Teammates got someone out to the west. I'm going to go up here and try to get, like, a better look or something. I don't know. Maybe they're on the roof. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, okay. I'm being shot from behind. Oh, where's my teammate? Where's my teammate? Oh, down that guy. Huge. Amazing. Oh, I got a plate. I got a plate. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm probably talking nonsense, but you get the idea. 
I would rather talk nonsense than not talk at all. So, Kurt, my biggest advice to you is try commentate what you're doing a little bit more. You know, I would have liked to have heard what you were doing in that situation or how you handled it, how you got out of it alive. You know, didn't seem very likely that you would survive, but you managed to. Try be a bit more vocal on the microphone. You gotta remember here, bud, streaming. Oh my god. Your mic's a little bit low, but I, it's, I don't even think it's too low. It's just way too far from you. I would consider bringing it closer, maybe below you so it's out of frame. Background here is super nice, super clean. You're well visible. You're well lit. It's all good. I would just consider trying to be a little bit more vocal. But yeah, Kurt, good job. Try to be more vocal. Maybe flesh out the uh, about section a bit and you're good to go, my friend. All right, Rin. First things first, consider a channel trailer. Absolutely do it. Uh... But it's nice to be greeted with a starting soon screen that has all your stuff. I like you've got this little animated B in the corner. It would be nice to have this animated a little bit more as well, this starting soon screen. There's a lot you could do here. You know, you could animate your little avatar here. You know, you could put some glow on this text. You could move stuff around the heart. No, there's a lot you could do and quite simply as well. So I would definitely consider just making this a little bit more visually appealing for when people are waiting. Nine minutes in, you're still on your starting soon screen. Try to keep it to five minutes. I like to never really go over five minutes. I, obviously, of course, stuff happens, but I would say five minutes, like absolute max for a starting soon screen. I love this little B. This little B, I think, says hi to people as well, which is cool. Oh, okay. Hi, bud. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, weapon. I appreciate it. Mic sounds good. Maybe a little bit higher. Could be a little bit louder. Clear mic, though. Good job. Good stream quality. All right, yeah. This is like super good. I can even hear when you're louder. You know, your, 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 your mic is catching it. It's fine. I think maybe you've got a compressor there uh, that's helping with that. I would definitely consider, especially to streamers who don't necessarily use a face cam, sometimes it can help as well, is to have your chat somewhere on screen. You've got all this blank space here for Final Fantasy that you could put your chat in. You seem to be talking every time I move for this VOD, which is really good. So good job. Well done. I like this. You know, um, people seem to think that they need a face cam to stream. I don't think you necessarily do. If you're compensating with a lot of like vocal activity, you don't need a, a face cam, but I would definitely consider having a chat box. This is really nice and fleshed out. It's really well organized. Like these lovely bars all fit in with this lovely star effect up here. I like how you say how to pronounce your, your name as well. All your buttons are clickable. Everyone make sure your buttons are clickable. But yeah, amazing. This is really good. Good job. You got your goals listed, your schedule, uh, your suggestion box, frequently asked questions, Twitter feed. Very, very dope. Good job, Bryn. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. I like this. All right, lots to dissect. Let me just hear you for two more seconds. I'm trying to keep the creative juices flowing because quite honestly, after doing the cool dog uh, essay that we did, the little presentation, I've been on a kick. Good. I'm happy that you're trying to find unique fun ways to do things. You should all be trying to find unique fun ways how to do things. That's very cool. All right, one thing I would say, you're using your green screen, which is completely fine. You seem, uh, you know, well lit enough. You're not getting any major pixelating. Here you are on the, what looks like a couch, perhaps. You could throw another light on that, might help with it. Or you could mess with your similarity settings, your threshold settings of the chroma key. Other than that, this is a pretty clean green screen, which is nice. Maybe add a little bit of warmth to your lights if you can. Might just throw a little bit more color back into the face and kind of human humanize the picture a little bit. Not saying you look inhuman, but you know what I'm trying to say. Sometimes green screens can kind of desaturate skin when the settings are done a little bit. I think you've added maybe a little bit less saturation and a little bit a little bit more contrast, which is kind of giving that desaturated look. Your mic is super clean. Because there's no way that everyone will agree. You're kind of suspended in nothing with the green screen. This big blank space off the ground is a little bit jarring. I would kind of expect you to be down and centered so that like you look like you're coming out of the bottom of the screen i think that would look a lot, a lot better you're kind of just suspended in the middle of this nice little background what could be super nice with this and maybe it would be a bit too much if you could animate this background a little bit make these stars twinkle that could be very cool yeah similarly in game you know typically with a green screen you want to be down at the bottom you know like down kind of here like so you're coming out of the screen or you could maybe build yourself into some sort of cool housing because this is a zelda thing maybe you could put yourself in a little Deku tree or something. I don't know. You know, like there's there's things you could do with a green screen. The possibilities are endless, but definitely don't just have yourself floating in the air. That can be a little bit jarring. I would definitely consider bringing yourself down. But you know, makes sense to me. This is not a stationary boat. No, no. Stream looks good. I can't fault it. Maybe consider a channel trailer for sure. Absolutely. Actually, no, do consider a channel trailer. This all looks really good. Really fleshed out. Um, my story. Put that one first. You know, definitely put that first. I know you have your values and stuff here, but 
get your get your about me over here first. Good job, Ice Monkey. Well done. All right, next up is Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus has a channel trailer. Amazing. Very good. Although, have you published it as a channel trailer? Ah, it's a minute and a half long. Perhaps you aren't able to sit. Okay, I think you need to set it as your channel trailer, and I don't think it can be over a minute. But this is a clip compilation, so we'll check this anyway. Hello, hello, and welcome to the stream. Put in your ear. All right, so right now I'm hearing this kind of electronic track you've got going, but I'm also hearing the music from the actual video that this is recorded from and it's the two are kind of canceling each other out and they're competing with each other and then they're also competing with you saying hello welcome to the stream so i would consider maybe re-recording something that you could slot in afterwards in this edit and say hey everybody this is the stream i'm maricus check out these clips or whatever you know intro yourself and that way you're not going to have to fight against something that's already there you know they're not gonna have to fight against any music that's already there that's kind of present throughout a lot of the clips you can hear the music that was taken from the stream and that you've added in in post. I would consider like, this is quite a fast paced song and a lot of your transitions that you're kind of using between each section are these slow dissolves. Maybe try and speed that up a bit, quicker cuts. You know, we could do a few punches in, punches out. Try provide context to the clips. If you are someone who does variety content in your channel, I so there's mini painting, there's Dark Souls, there's uh, this game, which I think is RimWorld, I'm not sure. But I'm not, I'm kind of isolated from that maybe. So maybe you could find a clip there that's a little bit more has a little bit more context for some people, right? So they'd understand it a little bit better and just make this kind of whole thing flow a bit more. Think about intercutting it with some parts about you, you know, some things that you uh, can say to the camera about yourself. You know, consider this almost like a, a moving bio, but it's nice, it's really good. I like the music, I like the flow of it. It could just be that bit quicker, a bit snappier. I like how you're showing there's a lot of variety on the stream. You do a lot of different things, but yeah, good job, bud. This is all super nice. You've got your these really clean buttons they're all clickable which is super nice your your twitter but yeah i would definitely say maybe flesh out the channel trailer a little bit if you can all right sword bear very cool what is going on this is great this is a testing, testing one two you all hear me hello <laughs> I all can right only focus on one thing at once. hey there thanks for coming on down to a sword bear's channel are you looking for comically bad gameplay? Yeah, why didn't he stop? Oh, f I'm just running into <laughs> sh Wait a minute. Oh my god, it Kung Fu kicked me! This is a good trailer. Hey, that's a nice hat! That's a nice hat he's got on, you know? Wonder where he got that. x 2 shoescom forward slash merch. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, very cool. Sword Bear is one of the longtime viewers of the channel. That's a great channel trailer. Really, really good. Uh, good flow, fast paced edits, showing off a lot of the things. He's like, hey, are you here for comically bad gameplay? Funny chat moments, all that kind of stuff. Really showing off the channel. That is an example of a good channel trailer. I actually helped him work on it. Sorbet is one of our patrons and you know, we have a little hangout space in the Discord and it's really good. I can't fault it. But I will say that the channel itself has very much been fleshed out. You got this nice banner. You got very good stream quality all, all around. You know, the green screen's well lit here all these kind of things. You've got a big variety of games that's shown off in the channel trailer. You've got this great about me section. Everything's clean. It's consistent. It looks good. Consistency across the board. You know, you can see the whole brand, a lot of thoughts gone into it. Even this little extension has been customized to work with his overall color scheme. You know, these are all little touches that people appreciate when they see them. You know, it's it's just, it's, it's nice. It's clean. It's good. It works. A returning favorite on the channel. Some of you may remember our bad streamer gone good video. We had our boy Stanky Pete helping us out in that stream. So shout out Stanky Pete again. Yeah, Stanky Pete actually responded to this tweet and wants a little review. So let's give it to him. I love this. This is so clean. Not a lot is happening in the starting soon screen, but it's just nice. It's just visually nice to look at. There's little Dark Souls pixel art. It's very cool. One thing I would say is maybe like these socials down the bottom left are super pixelated. I think you've put these in using OBS. They're also not aligned correctly. You can see the Instagram is higher than the Twitch. There's two Twitch things. I think I think the far right one is meant to be Twitter, but there's two Twitch logos. Maybe consider making them images, throw them in Photoshop, just put them together. Even in paint, you could do it, export them as PNGs, and you could probably blow them up. It'd be also nice to have them animating in just to give this starting soon screen a little bit more movement. It's also a nice hat. That you're wearing I was too there. loud. This wasn't planned. I swear to God, this is not some sort of crazy ad me trying to uh, way of wow. me trying to advertise my merch. <laughs> it's pure coincidence. Oh no, Gloom, <laughs> Rowan was just trying to get your attention. All right, one thing I would say, Pete, is that your mic is slightly loud. It's just a little bit loud. Again, compressor and a limiter. 
peeking just a little bit. Also, consider some sort of face light if you can. You can pick up a cheap LED light on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Just something to illuminate you. You're only really being illuminated by the monitor right now. But you've got this really nice backlighting. It's going to lift you out of the into the foreground a little bit more. Like, see just here. Obviously, when I pause it, you can't see. But just there, you walk through a little bit more light. And the monitor lights you a little bit more. And it's actually a lot easier to see your face and your expressions. That That is what you kind of want to achieve all the time. Just there. See how much clearer you look on the camera? You kind of want to have that look, if not a little bit more, all the time. Just to separate you out. You're blending a lot into the background right now. Especially if you're wearing darker clothes, that's going to happen more. But I would definitely try and uh you know do that like lift yourself into the foreground a little bit more check your body yeah you got your follow me donations all that kind of stuff it's all looks good it's all coherent with the with the style maybe try resizing this banner a little bit so that it's not as blurred um make sure you got the right dimensions and yeah again can't fault it very good consider a channel trailer as well and boom roasted all right helia let's try this out black forest ghetto Let's dissect this. One thing I think is great is that, like, I can tell how much of a good time you're having on your stream. Like, you have not stopped smiling the entire time I've been watching this VOD, which is always great. I love when, when you can tell how much fun a streamer is having. It always makes for such a nice viewing experience, for sure. One thing I would say is... I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, and I'm on mice and keyboard now. Are you proud of me? <laughs> your mic is very loud. Again, compressor limiter. That's going to be, like, 90% of the advice I have is, like, compressor limiter. I'd also like to see maybe chat on screen as well. Especially with a game like Dead by Daylight, it's such a great game to pull clips from. And it's always nice if you can have your chat on stream when you're pulling clips from it to use for TikToks or whatever. I definitely would go for a channel trailer as well, 100%. Consider moving these around as well. Like, consider consider moving these. I would definitely have the About Me first, and maybe the Bits thing down here. This is nice and filled out. These are all clickable, which is good. PC specs are here. But for sure, I would just kind of position these more if you can. And yeah, good job. Boom, roasted. All right, here we have Hiaksho. All right, amazing. Let's have a little look. I'm Hiaksho. Welcome to my Twitch channel. On this channel, you'll find a variety of FPS games, <laughs> casual adventures, and some answer illustration. I just read sex, and now I said, for goodness sex. <laughs> All wrapped up in some good conversation over a cup of strong coffee. If that sounds like a vibe for you, hit the follow button. I can't wait to catch up with you in the chat. And we're live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Check down below for more details. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And until next time, kick some ass, have some fun, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. That's nice! Short to the point, we got an idea of who you are. Fantastic. One thing I would say is music's a little loud. It was kind of coming over your 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 narration at, at parts, but this is super good. It's professional. The camera quality was brilliant. Looked good. It's edited well. It wasn't too talky. I didn't feel like I had to click off it at any point. I wasn't bored. Very good. This is very nice. I love this. This is. So cool. We don't have like an about me section necessarily, but it's just clean. It's just nice. We're almost getting the about you from the faces. Like each one of these buttons is a different facial expression, which is really good. You can really tell you've put the uh, the time and effort in here. You know, you got your schedule over here. It's aligned very good. And this is cool as well. Like, hi there. If you're reading this, I just wanted to thank you for stopping by. It means a lot to me that you took the time to. Please feel free to chat to me. It's a very chilled space. Or just lurk. It's all groovy. Thanks again. Take care. Super nice. This just looks so good. I am absolutely stealing this idea. This is very good. Uh, the channel trailer is clean. The banner is good. You got your socials here. One thing I would say is because these aren't clickable, you know, maybe put them there. But yeah, super well laid out. Let's just check a VOD real quick. I kind of want to build a temple at some stage anyway, but until the temple has been built, it might be cool just to... Ooh, look at that. I don't know. But yeah, this is nice. We can hear you. Your mic doesn't sound overwhelming, doesn't sound overpowering. This is a super original cam border. I really like it. One thing I would say, though, is, you know, if you could, it might look just that little bit cleaner because the side of it is like the majority of it is kind of completely straight. That You could probably put it directly into the corner and it could look good. Now, I know you'd be cutting out these kind of tentacle bits, but it might just kind of fit into the screen a little bit better if it was completely in the corner. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. It sounds like you've got a noise gate going. It does sound like you've got a noise gate going. 
because uh, I can hear the kind of air con or whatever f coming in and out the entire time. But maybe consider messing with those settings a little bit just to kind of cut out any of those unwanted clicks. But yeah, this is super great. I cannot fault this. It looks really good. Streams great quality. You're, you're, you're very well lit. You're easy to hear. Good job, bud. All right, everybody, that is all the time we have for today. I'm really sorry if I didn't get to your submission. I might do a part two of this video if it does well. So if you wanted to be included and you weren't included, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video to let me know that you want me to do it again. I can try to get to more of you guys because there was way more submissions than I thought, which is amazing, but I just wish I could have gotten to more of you guys. This takes a long ass time. I want to give good feedback and I can't do that if I rush it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If you did, as I said, please leave a like on it. And as well, guys, if you do want to support the channel, help me keep doing this full time there is other links below on how to support me as well if that's your thing if not that's fine as well you can also catch me on twitch four days a week live at twitch.tv forward slash x2 shoes hope to see you there be sure to subscribe if you haven't already thanks for everything everybody i hope you all create amazing content on your streams this week and if you don't don't worry next week is another one peace out much love